Alzheimer's disease. Hi folks, in this video we'll be discussing about Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease and is the most common type of dementia covering about 60% of all dementias. The incidence of Alzheimer's disease increases with age. There are a number of factors that are associated with increased frequency of Alzheimer's disease, which includes growing age, female sex, a history of head trauma, Down syndrome, and some conclusive evidence of a genetic component involved. Down syndrome patients almost universally develop Alzheimer's disease by 40 years of age. Down syndrome is characterized by the presence of an extra chromosome, which is chromosome number 21, with increased expression of the beta amyloid precursor protein gene. The beta amyloid precursor protein mutations lead to an abnormal beta amyloid production and deposition. The aggregation in neurons cause metabolizing enzymes like alpha secretase unable to degrade the proteins and form neuritic senile plaques. Early onset Alzheimer's disease is seen due to mutations in the beta amyloid precursor protein gene which is located on chromosome number 21, or due to type 2 gene on chromosome number 1, can all cause Alzheimer's disease. Presenilin is a part of a complex for gamma secretase enzymes, which are involved in degrading amyloid beta proteins. The gene for apolipoprotein E4 which is located on chromosome number 19, is shown to have an association with Alzheimer's disease. The clinical course of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease has an insidious onset with progressive deterioration characterized by gradual loss of memory and intellectual abilities with cognitive disturbances like aphasia, which is impaired language abilities, apraxia, which is impaired ability to execute voluntary motor activities despite intact ability to comprehend the task and intact sensory motor function. Agnosia can also be seen in patients with Alzheimer's disease, which is an impaired ability to recognize or identify the objects despite intact sensory function. There can also be disturbance in executive functioning like planning, organizing, so on and so forth. Psychiatric manifestations are also commonly noticed in these patients with personality changes, aggressive behavior, depression, sleep disturbances, paranoid thoughts and delusions in some of these patients which can be bothersome. In the late stages, Patients are often severely demented, sometimes even psychotic, with devastating memory loss which pushes them to be bedridden with eventual coma and death which commonly occurs about 8 to 10 years of clinical diagnosis with Alzheimer's disease. Pathological Features The cerebral and hippocampal atrophy with characteristic histological changes of neurofibrillary tangles and senile plaques are the major pathological features of Alzheimer's disease. The neurofibrillary tangles. These are intracytoplasmic basophilic inclusions which encircle or displace the nucleus of the host neuron. They are composed predominantly of paired helical filaments containing abnormally hyperphosphorylated forms of the tau protein. The neurofibrillary tangles are also found in other diseases like Pick's disease, which is otherwise known as the frontotemporal dementia. Therefore, NFTs are not specific 
for Alzheimer's disease, a point worthy to be remembered. Senile plaques. These are extracellular beta amyloid core that may cause amyloid angiopathy. Amyloid angiopathy is characterized by amyloid deposition around the vessels most often leading to lobar intracranial hemorrhage. Granulovacular degeneration. It is characterized by atrophy of hippocampus consisting of small vacuoles within the cell body, each vacuole having small dense inclusions. The heranobodies. Heranobodies are again intracytoplasmic proximal dendritic eosinophilic inclusions of actin, where the NFTs are basophilic intracytoplasmic inclusions. Apart from all these features, there is degeneration of the cholinergic cells that project to the cortex from the basal forebrain, especially the nucleus basalis of Maynard. The most effective initial interventions involve providing structured environment, specifically visual orienting clues like labeling over the doors of the rooms identifying their function, some sort of daily written activity of the schedules and educating practical safety measures like disconnecting the oven and so on. Medical management involves the use of acetylcholinesterase inhibitors like tacrin, donepezil, rivastigmin, and galantamine. Also, NMD antagonists like memantine can be used to slow the progression of the disease. For the treatment and prognosis, it is important to make distinction between Alzheimer's disease, pseudodementia, and normal aging. In Alzheimer's disease, features are insidious in onset with severe memory loss, cognitive problems, a decrease in IQ, with significant disruption of normal life. Pseudodementia, on the other hand, is any organic disease that presents with dementia-like features. Symptoms are abrupt in onset with moderate memory loss and cognitive problems, but there is usually no decrease in IQ in these patients. Patients have a history of psychiatric illness, and the treatment of the underlying cause usually helps the pseudodementia, like antidepressants or psychotherapy can help. In normal aging, there is minor forgetfulness that can present with reduced ability to learn new things quickly. There is no real decrease in IQ, no disruption of normal life, and hence no intervention is needed except practical and emotional support from the treating physician and reassuring the patient. Now here's a picture of human brain with Alzheimer's disease. Now in this picture, if you can see, the whitish hollow is because of the washing away of the myelin sheet of the neuron and the colored substance between the hollows is the presence of the axon. So that denotes the presence of an axon on a cut section. Now if you can see clearly here that there is extracellular deposition of the beta amyloid protein in aggregation. Now this is an example of a senile neurotic plaque. The stain used here is termed as Bielchowski stain, and this stain highlights an extracellular neurotic plaque, which is shown right here, and an interneuronal neurofibrillary tangle, which is present like right here. Now here is another histopathological slide, which is stained with eosin and hematoxylin. Two of these neurons contain filaments called neurofibrillary tangles, and they are magenta colored here and they look like flames or tails of a comet. Here's another picture showing Bielchowski staining at the same power as that shown in the other image that we just saw. Now in this picture, there are at least four different neurotic plaques, one, two, three, and four, which are extracellular in nature. And you can also see there are multiple axons with washed away myelin. That concludes our video on Alzheimer's disease.